In this video, we are going to focus on solving simultaneous linear equations by using the graphical method. You will find this on page 240 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Can you still remember how did we solve it with algebra? We either used the method elimination or substitution. But there's another method. And this is the method of drawing two graphs. So a system of two linear equations such as x plus y equals 5 and negative 2x plus y equals negative 1 is called simultaneous linear equations in two unknowns. Using the elimination or substitution method that you learned in chapter 4, solve the simultaneous equations. Okay, so can we revise the method? With elimination, we try to get one of the coefficients, the numbers the same, and the signs different. So it's positive 1, negative 1. Then it will cancel out. I divide 3, divide 3, and the value of x is 2, and I do the substitution. With substitution, we try to get one of the equations in the form 1x equals or 1y equals. And then we're just going to substitute the one formula into the other formula, and then we are also going to simplify it. Now we are going to solve simultaneous linear equations by using the graphical method. Let's look at an example. Use the graphical method, solve the simultaneous equations. So we only need to plot three points to obtain the graph of a straight line. In fact, a straight line can actually be determined by plotting just two points. But we use the third point just for accuracy. Okay, so make a table. Start by saying 0 to 4. Choose your x values and then substitute that x values in the place of x to find your y values. The same at this one. And then plot your points, <clears throat> plot your points, draw the line, and where the two lines intersect there, draw it down to find your x value, draw it to this side to find your y value. And then this is the coordinate, 2 and 3. Um, I just want to check if the previous examples if we solve it. So if you go back to the previous page, you will see that we used exactly the same um, equations and that we also got with elimination and substitution the value 2 and 3. Okay. I just want you to do one and you must use graph paper. So just do number one and I'm just going to move it first because and we are going to do it on graph paper. So let's just read it. Use the graphical method. Solve the simultaneous equations. x plus y equals 3. 3x three plus y equals 5. Hint. Draw the graphs from negative 2 to 2. Okay, so I helped you a little bit with this hint. Now stop the video and draw the two graphs on the same graph paper. As soon as you are finished, you can continue the videos. The video. Okay, so we said, now if you do it like this, you can use your own scale. So I think in this case, we're just going to use one centimeter equals one unit. So let's just draw the graph. I think it's even going to fit here. Okay, then we are just going to call it, this is going to be 0, then this is going to be, um, I think we can rather use 2 units, just want to see 1, 2, uh, no, let's use 1. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and this is my x-axis. 
and this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. And we do the same here. Um, just bit up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We will hope it's going to fit. Um, a bit up. Negative 1, negative 2, we go. negative 3, negative 4. Negative five. Okay, and this will be my y axis. But now I first have to construct my two tables. So let's just use um, we're going to construct the two tables. Again, we're just going to use a straight line. Three points. Rather use three points just for accuracy. And that's actually already three. The same. Okay. So this is your X. Just get the pin. Um, this is your X. This is your Y. This is your X. This is your Y. But let's just write the two equations down. So you can go back to the previous page just to find your two equations. So what was the two equations? Let's just write it down here. The one equation was x plus y, I'm going to make it now smaller, equals 3, that was your one equation. And the other equation was 3x plus y, and that will be equal to 5. Okay, I'm just going to, so that we have more space. Now, okay, so if I'm going to substitute, now we decided that we, or I gave you the hint, just three points. So make it negative 2, 0, 2. And then just write the equation. So it was x plus y equals 3. So in the place of x, I put negative 2 plus y is equal to 3. So y is equal to 3 plus 2 and that will be 5. So there I will fill in a 5. Now do the same. So it's now x plus y equals 3 and now I put a 0. And then the value of, of y will be 3. And then I put a 2. So it's again x plus y equals 3, and now I'm going to put a 2, so y, mm, sorry, y equals 3 minus 2, and that is equal to 1, so, and it's going to be a 1, and then I do the same for the next one, just draw a line, so it's going to be 3x plus y, okay, 3x plus y equals 5, and I'll start again with negative 2. So 3, negative 2, plus y is equal to 5. So it's negative 6 plus y is equal to 5. So y is equal to 5 plus 6, and that will be equal to 11. Oh, this is actually the graph is going to become must become bigger. Okay, so in this case it's going to be 11. And then the next one we will now change the graph. So it's the best to first work out the tables and then do the graph. I did it the other way around and that's why I have to correct it now. So 3x plus y is equal to 5 and now in the place of x I put a 0. Oh it's nice because then that term cancel out. And the value of y, what will be the value of y? 5. And then the final one will be 
3x plus y equals 5 and now in the place of x I will put a 2. So y, okay, so let's just do it more complete. So 6 plus y is equal to 5. So y is equal to going to be 5 minus 6 and the value is going to be negative 1. Okay, and now I have to change here. So, hmm. so don't make my, my mistake. First do your tables because then you can see how your graph must be. Okay, so your graph must be, so the x values was not the problem. The problem, and I think we're going to make the x values bigger due to this fact. So the problem was the y values. It must go from negative 1, so it's not so far, but it must go to 11. So what I like to do usually is I, I like to, okay, let's just get our graph. Um, so it's in the middle, middle will work here. And now, because it must go to 11, so what I like to do, and we're going to use one. So I will say 11, 10, 9, 9, why is it not writing, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 4. I'm just going to make it bigger that I can see the lines better. I'm struggling with the lines. So 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, and now I can see where is 0. Okay, and, and it's actually only going up to negative 1. Okay, and I think we make this one just too, otherwise it's too small. 1. I just have to draw that line first because now let's take my ruler never free-handed it's just the pen is not writing where it's supposed okay so this is one and then this one is going to be here it's going to be two and this one is going to be negative one this one is going to be negative two and then I'm just going to move it down a little bit And now I'm going to plot my points. Um, I'm just going to take, yeah, I think it will be good to take the ruler. So it's negative 2 and 5. So there at negative 2 and 5. And then it's going to be 0 and 3. And then it's going to be 2 and 1. And then I'm just going to take that ruler and I'm just going to draw that line. Okay. And now I can't even write the name, but it, okay, so in this case it was, okay, now it's still the ruler. So it was x plus y is equal to 3. Okay, now I'm going to do this one. Um, so this one is going to be negative 2 and 11. Wow, that was the long one. And then it's going to be 0 and 5. And then it's going to be 2 and negative 1.
is the pen is not writing so nice here but I'll try to draw it nice okay then I'm just taking my ruler again and I put it on this line and it will be exactly there and then there at the point that they intersect I'm just going to draw a line down maybe dot it broken Okay, and then I'm going to just write down my coordinate point. So I'm going to end up by saying, and I'm going to take it red. Therefore, um, x is equal to 1, and y is equal to 2. And as you can test it by using the method of elimination or substitution. And that's how you solve um, two simultaneous equations by making use of a graph.